Hey everyone, it's Safi Russell from SDR Consulting Inc. And just coming at you today to have a brief talk about PPP 2.0. And um, just wanted to let you know that I know there were several rollout dates from the SBA as far as when lenders can start accepting applications. And um, right now we're at the 15th and uh, smaller lenders under a billion can start submitting applications heading into the 19th. Everyone will have access to all financial institutions who already um, have that established relationship with the SBA can start accepting applications and submitting them. So if you are, we're in business as of February 15th, 2020, that is really the first step um, in terms of whether you qualify for the PPP version, um, the first draw, PPP first draw, meaning you did not get a PP the first time around. And depending on your entity, the calculations are different, whether you're eligible or not. But the first thing to look at is your structure um, and also if you had employees. So if you're an independent contractor, sole proprietor, uh, they consider you as your own employee. And so in essence, if you had a profitable Schedule C in 2019 or 2020, then you potentially could be eligible for a PPP loan. That could be forgiven. Um, if you're a partnership, it's almost similar. If the partnership is profitable, um, then also uh, that bottom line number with some other adjustments could be considered for a PPP. Um, if you have employees, the wages that you pay them, the full-time equivalents can be considered for PPP as well in either of those structures that I just mentioned. And then if you're a corporation, um, it's gonna be based on your um, W-2. So your W-2 wages as an employee of your corporation are a factor when you're an S-Corp or a C-Corp not just your distribution. So if you're a C-Corp or an S-Corp and you're not in, on payroll, then you have no eligibility for PPP. So that's a quick recap of um, you know, the first round of uh, PPP that has come back around for people who didn't get it the first time. Now there's people who are getting a PPP the second time that is called the second draw. The criteria for that is that you already qualified for the first round. So we already know you met that criteria. You were in business already. Um, the first caveat is that you had a 25% reduction in gross receipts uh, 2019 compared to 2020 in any one quarter. So first quarter of 2019 compared to first quarter of 2020, if 2020 was 25% less, you put that's one of the first steps in qualifying for the PPP. Same thing for the second, third, and fourth quarter. So what does that mean? You really need to know your numbers. You know, hopefully you file taxes for 19 already. Hopefully you know your numbers for 2020, your bookkeeping's already done so that you can actually do that comparison and be ready um, to put those applications in. This whole PPP 2.0 round um, ends three, March 31st, 2021 or until funds are exhausted. So what does that mean? You need to get your applications in now if you qualify. And so in the post here, you'll see an intake form that'll give me some preliminary information to um, you know, potentially set up an appointment with you um, to discuss your qualification process and, um, and if you are a potential candidate for the PPP. Uh, the PPP, of course, you know, is meant to be taken for businesses who have that uncertainty about the future, need to retain employees and are kind of affected by COVID. So I just want to kind of put that out there. Uh, we are not, you know, SBA lenders. Uh, we just happen to partner with um, a lender right now who we are expediting applications through which are very, with a very streamlined process. So if you need assistance with your PPP loan, feel free to complete the form as a starting point. And I look forward to speaking with you. Stay safe and take care.